Welcome everyone, it is 2021, today is January 4th, just got done with school and this is the first vlog for the new year. Um, I know it's been a while since I have last posted an update or anything like that. Um, I'm still pretty active over on Instagram, but I figured the weather is nice, it's about 2 degrees Celsius outside, so why not walk around and see some of the snow but yeah we're just gonna be walking around the neighborhood check out some of the snow the river still kind of froze it over and this also gives me an excuse to play around with the new gimbal and just kind of stay updated with you guys i don't know if this will become like a daily vlog but i do want to be posting regularly but, yeah, I need to get more comfortable talking in front of the camera. And why not do it in my own neighborhood so that people can stare at me awkwardly while I'm carrying around this gimbal. Why are there so many cars? So much traffic. But we're just a couple blocks away from the river. So, I'll see you when we get there. So yeah, the river is frozen as you can see. So in Boryang, um, there's a river that runs through it called the Daechan Chan. Um, there's quite a few bridges that cut through the city and it kind of divides the city into the old part on the other side of town and then on my side is more of the newer part of the city and like let me turn the camera like this bridge in particular at nighttime they light it up with some different rainbow colored lights to kind of change and it's kind of fun to come out here at night and photograph the bridge but they've been kind of reconstructing some of the bridges and actually adding a couple more. So I kind of just want to walk down here and see if they finish them or not, because they do look pretty cool. And I'm always curious. Don't know this about Korea, they're always constantly building and deconstructing buildings all the time. Um, there was one situation a couple years ago now where I went to go to the bakery and it was there one day, went back the next day, they had already gutted it and was actually proceeding to demolish it and the bakery had already moved a couple streets down. Way off there in the semi distance you can kind of see the new bridge thing that they're doing. Um, I don't know if I can get up there, but I will try nonetheless. So during the spring and summertime, there's actually quite a bit of wildlife that you'll find in the river. They've got mud crabs in the thousands that'll just scurry about when you're walking by. The first time I saw them, it actually freaked me out. Because I just saw thousands of little bodies just like scattering across the mud. I've also seen some of those mud skippers that are those like fish with little feet on them that can walk around on land a little bit. So we've pretty much wrapped up the school year at my elementary school. We've got, I think, just one more day of classes. And then they'll be on a winter vacation for a couple weeks. 
So after that we come back for another couple weeks or so, the 6th graders have their graduation and then we go on the end of year break, which all during this time, aside from my 7 days of vacation, I'm actually going to be going to the school each day and desk warming. What that entails is me basically going in, working on lesson plans and stuff for the next school year, or working on any other projects that I need to get done. But yeah, it's a pretty relaxing time. Um, we were going to have a winter camp, but with all the craziness that's going on with COVID, um, if you haven't seen in the news, there's been about a thousand daily cases in Korea. So my school decided to cancel the winter camp. So that means more desk warming time for me. few days and we're supposed to get some more on Wednesday or Thursday which I'm indifferent to snow um, I don't really care for driving in it but seeing it's kind of cool Looks like it is actually open, so let's go up there and take a look because they've got like a little train attached to the front of it. And I think this part of the trail used to be where the train tracks ran because um, the train station was actually in the downtown area before, but within the last maybe five or ten years, they moved it out to the edge of town. So it's really cool to see them integrate different parts of history.
Yeah. Do a low angle or oh like that kind. Oh that oh that's oh at home I use that kind. And then two screens. Oh two screens? Mm. Oh for like doing the editing like video editing. Mm. Well, as I was thinking, using the gimbal did attract some attention and some people stopped by and wanted to know what I was doing and stuff so it was kind of cool to be able to talk with them. I didn't want to film them on the blog and yeah I'm almost back home now so we will check back in once I'm inside yeah so we're almost home so, so we're almost home and I'll check back in with you guys once we're inside so as expected carrying around this gimbal does attract some attention um, there is actually a middle school student that was really fascinated with the camera setup and everything so I was taking some time talking with him about the whole setup and everything and it was kind of cool to be able to talk to some younger people that are fascinated in photography and videography it was actually my one of my first interactions with someone outside of my school so I really had to get out of my comfort zone of using what little Korean I do know. Luckily we didn't have to use any translator apps like I do in class sometimes. So one of my goals for this year is to be more comfortable being in front of the camera um, because I'm really comfortable like taking pictures because I'm hiding behind a lens but getting in front of the camera is really something that forces me to get out side of my comfort zone. I would like to say that I'm an introvert that's forced to be an extrovert at times. That goes back to when I was working as a representative for an insurance company under mutual funds department. I really had to be more outgoing. I couldn't be a pushover and so that kind of built the confidence in me to be able to talk in front of people and the weird thing is like with students when I'm teaching at school I have no problem talking in front of them but when it comes to talking in front of my peers and everything, I'm still not fully comfortable with doing that. And I don't know why this autofocus keeps messing around like this. I'm wondering if it's because of the cold. Because I really shouldn't be using it right away after bringing it in from the cold so that it can kind of adjust. So I think that's why the focus is going all out of whack. So I don't know if I'll do daily vlogs or weekly vlogs or what it'll probably be as I can get them out. Um, I'm still focusing more on like the travel vlogs and some of the more regular content but I also need to practice more being in front of a camera because most of the time I'm perfectly fine being behind the camera doing all the b-roll footage and everything but talking in front of the camera is a whole other ball game. So yeah, I will go ahead and end this vlog here today. Hopefully I get it edited pretty quickly and get that uploaded so that you guys can see that. And until next time, this is Harold with Sapphire Kitsu Travels. Teach, learn, and explore.